Hello everyone, welcome back to The Dark Eye, Chains of Satanav. Let's continue where we left off. Okay, so I believe I was trying to figure out this puzzle, something to do with the acorns and feeding the sows at the north gate. And I still don't know where the north gate is. Is this a north gate? I'm pretty sure it is because there's the pig's trow. But there's nothing to actually tell me that this is the north gate. In fact, I don't even see a gate. So, yeah. Anyway. Let's, uh, hold on. Let's, let's go back here. It's been a while since I've been back here. Is there anything I've missed? I know there's a picture, there's a trunk, there's nothing in the trunk. There's the catapult. Which needs a piece of string to fix it. I have absolutely no reason to do that, and I also don't have a piece of string, so... I guess there's no point in doing that. Right, I've got nets, eggs... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I should do next. Let's go hear the riddle again. You again? <laughs> yes, me again. What's the prize for the victor again? The victor will be honored by the king himself. What exactly does that mean? You have no business participating in the challenge if you can't appreciate that unworthy peasant. Okay. You can go fuck yourself. What's the fourth riddle? The sows at the north gate are peculiar beasts. On acorns they feast, yet show disdain for the leaves. Peculiar. On acorns they feast, yet show disdain for the leaves. Hmm. I'll be back. Well, let's go back to the acorns and see if I can do something with them. Maybe I need to, like, win them or something. I, I still don't understand what this Lots thing is. Um, but I can't talk to Hilda while he's playing that song, so... Let, well... Hold on. Acorns? That's all? Um, yeah, okay, let's let's talk to her again. So let, let me get him to stop playing the song. Fred Helm? Yes. What can I say about the current song? What is that? What's the name of the song you just played? Well, it was the song of the Bruins' Bride. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, by no means. I was just curious. I already... <laughs> I asked him to play it. Why would I not know the name of the song I asked him to play? Anyway, play, play something else. My human jukebox. You can play something else now if you want to. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I just thought maybe something happy and cheerful would be nice for a change. A drinking song, maybe. Well, all right then. But at some point, I'll be done with your requests. Um, okay. Maybe. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I feel bad for this guy. I'm treating him like a human jukebox. Play this, play this. Maybe I'll allow you to play something else. If I say it's okay. I mean, what the hell? Alright. Let's examine all this stuff here. Alright, there's the tankard. Don't think for a second that I'll Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Zephyl's plum spirit. I wonder if he still fattens his pigs on it. Could be. They get the hiccups every day. He used to fatten his pigs on plum spirit. That seems like a horrible thing to do. Hey, it's against the walls to take a peek. I, I still don't even know what this is. What are lots? What the heck is a lot? Like, I know a lot might be like an, like an empty lot, right? Like a space of land or whatever, but that's obviously not what it means in this context. Where did you get that giant cheese? I got it as a present. And now you're selling it off? Shh. <laughs> yeah, be quiet. Someone might notice the gigantic cheese wheel I have over there. Did you make the puppet yourself? Do you like it? Well, it's so-so. Uh, what is wrong with Garon? Garon? 
Garen? Garon? How do you pronounce his name? I don't remember. But what is wrong with him? He's such an asshole. Jesus, man. All right, let's talk to oh, Garon, what a wonderful song. Why don't you play your flute anymore? I'd let you practice in front of my window every night. Oh, please, no. I'd rather cut off both my ears than listen to that whining. Hmm, I'll think about it. You don't say. It just so happens I have a flute. Actually, let me try to play See it. See you later, Hilda. See you, and don't forget the lark. I won't. I still have no idea where to find one. But I haven't forgotten. Alright, let me see if I can play here something. Although, I, he says it's been a long time since he's played, right? So, yeah, let's see if he's willing to. I don't play in front of an audience anymore. It only leads to unwanted consequences. Ah, okay. Well, Gary. Let's buy another lot. I'd like another try. I have to get lucky sometime. Suit yourself. A blank. I'm sorry, Geron. Ah. <sighs> that leaves me two Kreutzers, or whatever the currency was. Two, two units of monies. Let's buy another lot. I'd like another try. I have to get lucky sometime. <laughs> Bad luck charmer that you are, you're bound to draw a blank. Oh, be quiet, will you? The blank, is it? Well, I knew it. Don't listen to him, Geron. Unlucky at gambling. Lucky in love, all right? Okay. Here's my last one. I only have one Kreutzer left, so I'll have to make sure I win this time. Okay. Fair enough. Question the odds. How can I make sure I win? Again, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't understand what she's doing. Drawing lots? It's a blank? What? I don't know what that means. So I don't know how to solve it. Because I don't know what I'm even... I don't even know what I'm doing. And there's no animation to show me what's happening here. It's just like a little sound of something. Let's question the odds. Has anyone ever won at all? Of course. What do you think I am? A cheat? Look, I put all the acorns that have already been drawn into this box. I've painted little patterns on the winning acorns. And as you can see, there is already one winning lot in the box. That means that there has in fact been a winner already. All right, all right. Oh. So that's what I'm doing. I'm drawing acorns and if I get one that has something special on it, I win. Okay, I get it. So do I just distract her and steal the winning acorn? What would that get me, though? See you later, Hilda. See you, and don't... I mean, now that I know that, will he get something from the box? Let's, let's try it. Fred Helm? Yes. Play me a different song, human jukebox. Why don't you play the ditty about the Bruins' bride once again? You know what? Just to make it easier, <laughs> I'll just play everything you want me to. I'm not going to argue with common folk. <laughs> Poor guy, I feel so bad for him. The lots that have already been drawn. Ah, this acorn here has a pattern. Okay, excellent. But again, what does that get me? I won. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what do I do with this? Feed it to the pigs at the north gate? But how does that make any sense? I don't know. I don't even know where the north gate is. I mean, this is the only place I've seen that has a gate, but is this the north gate? I, just, I don't know. There's pigs there. I'm here, have a winning lot. It's fat enough. <laughs> That's for sure. They are hellaciously fat, aren't they? Hmm. Okay, let's go to the other... Well, actually, there's, there's this pig here, but I don't think this is the north gate. It's fat. Nah. Alright, let me see if I can do it here.
Those pigs are being fed enough. Hmm. The pigs of the North Gate have a pe are peculiar, peculiar beasts. Something about acorns, uh, but they don't like leaves. I won. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I have so many items in my inventory now. What, do I, like, crack it open? Is there something inside of it? I'm not going to destroy it. I don't even understand what I'm supposed to do with it. What do I do with that? So someone won, and they placed it inside of, she placed it inside of the box. Why? What what happens to them? Like, is this something that, like, everyone knows? Like, everyone knows how this game works, and I'm just missing, like, missing it? Or is it just the game not explaining things properly? I can't tell. Like, do I give it to her? What do I do with it? She didn't know. All right, so this we draw them out of, right? The pot with the lots, yeah. Fred, hell, yeah. I mean, I guess I just play again, but this time just like use the one that has the winning design on it. Just palm it to pretend, you know, like slip the the blank one in my pocket and bring out the winning one without her noticing. I guess. You can play. Yeah. Well. Okay, here we go. I want to have another go. I'm sure I'll be lucky this time. No, you're only wasting your money. And you could let the others have their turn too. There are no others around at the moment, so please take the Kreutzer. All right, if that's what you want. Exactly. Now for a quick exchange with the winning lot. There! I won! Bah! Witchcraft! <laughs> Congratulations, Geron. What pies do you want? Okay, um... Well, that wheel of cheese sounds tasty, and I could probably live on that for a month, because it's huge. Hmm. I don't know what the hell I do with a straw puppet. Let's go with the plum spirit. Should I? What would I do with anything else? Yeah, let's go with the plum spirit. Give me the plum spirit. Here you go. If you'd rather have something else, you can come and exchange it later. Oh, in other words, the game just told me that if I made the wrong choice, I can go back and change it. Thank you. All right. The pigs at the north gate, something about leaves and stuff. I don't understand how that's going to get me a an oak leaf, but... Hmm. Let's go try to give them Blum Spirits. Here we go, it's actually gonna work. So now the icon's lighting up, I think that means it's gonna work. Yep. Oh, so they just went to sleep because I just drugged them all, okay. Is it just, like, at the bottom of the trough? Look at the bird catcher. Poor boy doesn't get enough food. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But here's the oak leaf. <laughs> Just don't show it to them. Otherwise, he'll beat your face in, right? I've got all four. No, don't. I should hurry say to the it out loud. Okay. <laughs> he just said it out loud, but apparently they didn't hear. Okay, so they threw an oak leaf at the bottom of the trough of pigs in the hope that you would win a lot and get the plum spirit and then drug the pigs? What? Okay, don't think about it. Let's just forget that that happened, even though it doesn't make any damn sense. That's a strange riddle. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let me save the game. Where's F9 here? Okay. Excuse me. You again? Yes. Me again. I have all four. I've got all four oak leaves. What? 
You? Show them to me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Now the dire bunch can see who were the fools all along. Not so fast. There's one more task ahead of you. What? But I've collected all four leaves. Take this town pennant here and hoist it in front of the castle walls. Oh my. Now that reeks of harassment. It's meant to be a tribute to the town and your king. You are supposed to show your pride in being a subject of the King of Andergast. Piece of cake. Okay, I can do that. And just crank it up, right? Surely that's all there will be to this, right? That simple? Oh wow, it, it actually worked. The bird catcher has succeeded. That's not a good omen. <laughs> you have achieved victory in the oak leaf challenge. Who would have thought? In order to receive your honors, you will be allowed to appear before your king today. But someone of your ilk will not be admitted into the presence of the king just like that. So listen to me carefully. Whatever you say, Master Chamberlain. Royal Chamberlain. My apologies. First rule, you're only to talk if you are spoken to first. Do not ever interrupt the king, or me for that matter, and don't approach the throne closer than seven paces. Yes, sir. You can count to seven, right? Seven is the number that comes after six. You will address the king as your royal highness or your majesty. Your royal highness. Got it? Don't cause me any embarrassment. One slip, and you'll have spent your final day in Andergast. All right, let's get this thing over with. Newcastle, report. The young queen of Nostria will spend some memorable days here in Andergast, your majesty. Have the guards been clothed properly from the armory? And has the messenger with a welcome note finally been sent? Not only that, my liege. The finest pastries have arrived from Albernian shores. They taste... delicious. And we finally managed to cast the role of the rogue Morgul for the soiree. Old Buckledorn will play the part. An interesting choice. He shall not frighten the Queen too much, though. As you wish, my liege. Who is that young lad over there? Is he a carny, too? Your Majesty. A victor has been named in the minor challenge of the oak leaf for the common folk. It is young Garon from the Tannerhood. <laughs> okay. So I'm supposed to be very formal, of course. But I think this guy's a prick, and I fucking hate this king, and they can all go to hell. So let me see if I can save first. F9. Okay, good, I can save even in the dialogue. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to be as absolutely rude as possible. Hey dude, what's up, king? Hail to the gods. It's your majesty, <laughs> my boy. Pardon me, your majesty. The youngster is the stepchild of Ranger Gwynling. Is that so? Eh, I, may, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Show some respect for the king, man-child. Old Gwyndling. Without him, we'd probably still be fearing the seer to this day. Your Majesty, don't forget that... He paid his dues. Be that as it may. I hereby proclaim you winner of the Oak Leaf Challenge, Garon. Thus spoken and sealed in the 1,000th, 889th year of independence. May you make Andergast proud, my boy. You may thank the king and rise now. I thank you for this honor, your majesty. Your audience is over now. Wait. So, didn't you learn the trade of the hunt from Gwyndling, Garon? Hmm. Let's brag about it. Hell yeah, I did. Like an MLG no-scope, these birds or some something like that. I think that's what I do. I catch birds, don't I? Yeah. Of course. I put the fear of the gods in wolves and bears. Well, hmm. we don't have too much of a problem with those in this castle. Say, Sir Newcastle, 
Have the attempts to rid the royal guest chambers of those nasty crows been successful yet? Your Majesty, we're doing all we can. But? They're proving themselves quite obstinate, my liege. Nasty little buggers indeed, those crows. I've been hearing that for days now. The servants are doing the best they can. Not good enough, it seems. It would constitute an insult to the Queen of Nostria. Geron, do you think you can deal with crows? They're just birds like every other kind. You bait them, scoop them, grab hold of them. Well, that's good news. I hereby charge you with a mission of ridding the royal guest chamber of all crows. But your majesty... The whole court is terribly busy, Newcastle. I'm sure you can use a helping hand. Of course, my liege. I'm just saying... Well, you know what people say about him. I'm not inclined to bother with the superstitions of the plebs. It is concluded. Take the man-child to the ravaged chambers at once. Very well, my liege. Fulfill your charge well, Garon, and we'll meet again. The fate of Andergast lies in your hands. I will not disappoint you, my king. The fate of Andergast rests on whether I can rid the chambers of the birds? You've brought me some serious trouble already, young man. I hope you won't cause us any more bad luck. I'll do my best. The crows have been at it in here since yesterday. You can see for yourself what damage they've done. In just a few days, the Queen of Nostria will arrive. These are the only appropriate chambers for a guest of that importance. This must have been a nice room once. Spare your cheeky comments. You'd better start catching those crows. And I said catch, not kill. King Aphidan's wife doesn't want any bad omens, you hear? Got it. I'll think of something. And don't let your fingers get sticky. Oh, I'll catch him. I will catch all of the crows, and I'm going to stick them all in his chambers. He can have them all as pets. They'll love each other, won't they? All these crows pecking his eyes out. He'll love it. It didn't seem to make any difference at all that I treated the king like... Uh, treated everyone with complete disrespect. It, it really didn't seem to affect anything at all. But yeah, I hate them both. Especially the chamberlain. So I will continue to be a total dick to them. Okay, yeah, this place has been wrecked. All right, there's three crows. Let's take a look around. It must be worth a fortune. Hmm. Even partially destroyed. Maybe I could just roll it up, shove it in my pocket. Actually, I don't think I could fit a rug in my pocket. Well, I do have adventure game pockets, which are apparently a very special type of pocket. That allows storage of unlimited things. But yeah, I wonder if I could store it and just sell it. That'd be nice. Can I take it? Softer than my bed. <laughs> really? That's sad. Rumor has it there are secret passages throughout the castle. I'll find out if this is one of them eventually. But first, I'll deal with the crows. Eventually? Now that you've mentioned it, I just want to look for secret passages. Come on, go in. What a massive fireplace. Hmm. It looks like an entrance to some sort of a... I don't know, like a cave or something. Gwynling's old stuffed owl has nothing on this thing, I must admit. This is bound to batter someone to death, loose as it is. Useless pageantry. Who needs so many candles burning at the same time anyway? I know, right? I... Wait, I just took it? Why... Why did I take it? Useless pageantry. Who needs... Okay, now I have a chandelier. Alright, that's it. Now for the crows. Perhaps Gwynling is right. Something's wrong with those crows. Perhaps Gwyn... Well, I don't think I can just catch them, right? So, net? Let's try the net. This could be easy. If only the birds couldn't fly away. Well, I, I think the idea is that the net would hit them before they flew away, right? Hmm. Alright, net trap. Gwynling's latest design. 
It won't break the bird's wings now. Perhaps I can set this down on the rug? Okay. And then, let me guess, dove's egg? A bird catcher needs two things. A proper trap and the right bait. Come on, come on. Yeah, oh. And there's one. What was that? Nothing. Everything's fine. Look at that poor little crow. Softer than my bed. Oops, did, no, no, don't, don't look at the rug. Look at the little crow. I kind of feel bad for it. Look at it struggling in there. Come on, get it out. Um. Wait, do I have something to put it in? Or does he just, like, put it... Am I going to end up with a crow in my inventory? Oh, it's, it's even struggling in the icon. I feel bad for it. Aw. I've caught the first bugger. Regrettably, that was the only bait I had. Hmm. Alright, two more. So, I guess I could take the crow back to... Well, wait a minute. Has the cage been fixed? I don't know. But even if I took it back, I would need more bait. Okay, now I have that too. Why? Gwynling's old stuffed owl has nothing... Why do I have the chandelier, and why do I have the deer antler? Alright, I can put something on the fixture, but what? Hmm. I've caught the first regret. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just try to catch it with your hands. Out of reach. Hit it over the head with a walking cane. I'm supposed to catch them, not kill them. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, let me go try to deposit this crow in the cage, if it's been fixed. Wait a minute, can I leave? Oh, no, I can't even leave. Okay, I guess I have the tools to solve this then. No wonder the No wonder the stag fell down. What a massive fireplace. Hmm. What the heck can I do with this stuff? I mean, casting the net doesn't work, right? No. I can't do anything with that anymore. That's a good idea, but I'll have to set up the net somewhere. Wait a minute, what? Wait, using the casting the net on the caught crow is a good idea? That's a good idea, but I'll have to set up the net somewhere. Oh, you're thinking of like a storage compartment for them, I guess? Oh, let's uh, put him in a bag, or something, like, um, here? I'll lure the crows into the fireplace and then set up the net in front of it. Then they'll escape through the chimney and come back in through the window. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I'll lure the crows into the fireplace and then set up the net in front of it. Then they'll escape through the chimney and come back in through the window. That's supposed to be sarcastic, but for some reason he's saying it in a completely non-sarcastic way. He's saying that as if that's a serious plan. I'll lure the crows into the fireplace and then set up the net in front of it. Then they'll escape through the chimney and come back in through the window. Why, why did the voice actor read that as if it was serious? It's obviously meant to be sarcasm. I should hang the stag back up first. Oh, um, oh, okay. Six. No, 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 not that. No, no, no. Didn't mean to do that. I'll hang the net between the antlers, but where do I fasten it on the lower end? Uh. Here? It's an interesting thing I'm creating. What exactly am I doing? Okay. What have I made? What what am I going to do with this? No, no, put put it back up. Hmm. 
Wait, what? The, what? What's happening? What did I just solve? Just as I thought. What? Where am I? The execution. The seer. Silence! No bad omens. And to think I put in a good word to the king for you. What happened? I know what will happen. You'll catch those crows by the hour of six this evening, or you'll be put in the pillory. The crows. Right. I don't suppose this was successful. The sand in your hourglass is wasting away, bird catcher. It will run out at the hour of six this evening. This dream, it... Uh, <laughs> pull yourself together, Geron, and start to deal with those crows already. The king trusts me. I can't let him down. Perhaps Gwynling found something that can help me while he was dissecting the bird. Oh, okay, so I... Just to reiterate what just happened, the plan was to put the weak stag's head that easily fell down up above, put the chandelier below it, hang the net in between it, put the already caught bird with the egg inside of it, like, hang it up there too, and then the crows would be attracted to it because of the egg, I guess, and then they would mess with it, and then the stag thing would fall, and then they would get caught in the net, like, what the fuck? That was the plan? Okay. Doesn't make any damn sense, it's... But... Okay, it worked. And now I've been mysteriously just kicked out of the room, even though I still have one crow to catch. Because the game has decided I need to go back to Gwynling for some reason, which is super awkward. But anyway, let's roll with it. Geron, you turned up at the right time. He sure seems to have gone through a mood change. That can't be good. You'll have to catch a fairy for me, as quickly as possible. A fairy? What's gotten into you? We don't have much time. Help me. I I'm sorry, what? A fairy? Do you mean a literal fairy, or is that some sort of a strange name for a bird? <laughs> Why a fairy? What do you need a fairy for? Is she supposed to drive away the crows for you? I may be wrong, but perhaps the seer is back. Again with this horror story. You're not making any sense. You'd better help me expel the crows from the royal guest chambers. Later. For now, just do what I tell you. Okay. Well, I did just see a vision about the seer, so... I think the seer is probably returning. How could the seer possibly be back? He's dead. Isn't he? We all watched him die, but now not only the crows have returned. But the magpies too? Murders, Geron. Where none should occur. First Knight Olderich, now Magister Dorata. They were the ones who put the seer at the stake. Who knows what else will happen? What's a fairy got to do with the seer? Not a fairy. The fairy. You have to catch her before someone else does. What does the seer want with the fairy? Only she can unleash the power of the magic harp. No man, not even the seer, can play it without dying. By the gods. If he's back, everything will start all over. You aren't making any sense to me, old man. The power of the magic harp. Okay. Well, we've gone deep into absurd fantasy here, haven't we? And guess what the magic harp looks like? I'm guessing it looks like this. This drawing that Gwynling spent so much time gathering up. Or getting out of storage. That looks like a harp. What powers does the harp hold? Nobody knows. But it is said that when the harp sounds, Andergast will perish. That's why you have to catch the fairy. She is the key. 
Jesus, I guess the harp is really out of tune. If it can kill all of Andergast just by playing it. Can it really be that bad? Tell me more about that magic harp. I don't know. It is said to be from the realm of the fairies. Okay, well that clears everything up. Thank you. What did the seer want with the harp? He longed for her because she was the gateway to his power. Or that's what he thought, anyway. Is this the one in the drawing? This is what she might look like. Who can be sure? How do you know so much about the seer? It was I who led all those heroes to him. To his hideout in the Stone Oak Forest. You were part of the hero's quest? Hunters and scouts. We caught him. And then we burnt him. And now a knight and a magician are dead. Just trust me, and all will be fine. I don't. I don't trust you. I'm pretty sure not everything is going to be fine. Also because if everything was fine, there probably wouldn't even be a game. It would probably just end. There has to be something to overcome, right? Why haven't you told me all this before? Now is not the time. Well, obviously, it never was the time. Hmm. Let's see if you can help me with the crows. How did you catch that crow over there? A certain attractant, but it needs water that's been touched by fairy magic. So I would have to go where the fairy lives anyway. That's right. Hmm. If I catch the fairy, will you help me with the king's crows? Promise. But would you please hurry now? You don't have to tell me that. Okay. What am I supposed to do and where do I need to go to find this fairy? Or not this fairy, the fairy. All right. How do I catch a fairy? The fairy lives in a hidden place in the Stone Oak Forest, near an old but sealed fairy portal. Look about two midden miles north of the Old Finger, where the Oneberries grow. If you hear the Great Waterfall, you're in the right place. Oh, I'll find that place all right. Try to lure the fairy out of her hollow by playing your flute. She's nosy, but also very shy. And then I'll catch her with a cage. Fairies can be deceiving. Don't let her put a spell on you. Not to worry. If she's got wings, I'll catch her. <laughs> yep, I'm a trapper, all right. And with this fairy water, I'll be able to catch my crows? Yes. All the other ingredients are easy to find. Splendid. The king will be amazed. Okay, it's a plan then. So I just need to go two midden miles, whatever the hell that is, into the stone orc oak forest past some berries of some sort and I need to play my magic flute to lure the fairy out and then catch the fairy but make sure she doesn't put a spell on me and I'm catching the fairy because something to do with the harp and something like that and then I okay all in a day's work right just just an average day for Garon I'm on my way now you mustn't fail okay bye Actually, can I take the cage? What about this glass bulb? Is it fixed? Is the cage fixed yet? Yes. And take better care of it next time. Ah, excellent. I told you to keep your hands off that. You'll probably just break it. Wow, you obviously trust me a lot. Okay. Have fun poking your bird. Goodbye, I'm gonna go catch a fairy. Hmm. Looks like Gwynling has fixed everything. Okay, well, every time, I, every time I try to go this way, he said I don't want to go take a walk. So I'm guessing this is where I need to go. Off we go, into the fairy forest, to the fairy portal, to pay the, play the fairy flute, to the fairy, to catch the fairy, to get the fairy water, or something. Goodbye. Very well, then. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? 
Nothing. You're doing all right. Just keep practicing. I'm not even here. You're all alone in the woods and nobody's here to judge you. Not even me. See how I'm gone? That must be her. Stop. Wait. Okay, so apparently um, I'm so bad with the flute that she's embarrassed for me. <sighs> um, I need to make sure she doesn't put a spell on me. Whatever that means. Let's lure her some more with my wonderful, horrible flute playing. I've got a beautiful melody for you. Listen to this. Just keep on playing. Will you come out of there? Who? Why, you, of course. Who, me? Have you forgotten you're all alone? <sighs> I'm not alone. You are here. And who else? Nobody. Aha. Uh -huh. If you were a friend of the forest, they'd all be here. The moss hogs and the hazel ferrets. The pebble crane would even rain on you from the skies to honor you. And the wood foxes would build a magnificent bonfire and everyone would dance. What? But as you are not a friend of the forest, everyone just stayed at home. C can you call all of your forest friends and bring them around? We can have a party. We can have a barbecue. We can roast up some crows. If I were a friend of the forest, would you come out then? Yes, in that case we'd have something to talk about. We'd have to stand in awkward silence otherwise. And in order to be a friend of the forest, I'd have to... Have friends, that's right. Resin rats, for example. Or paper finches. And where would I find those? If you don't have any friends, you have to make them up. What on earth has Gwynling foisted upon me? Oh dear God. So I need to make up some forest friends. Um... Okay... I'll be back in a minute. Let me save the game. There we go. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Okay, is it just me or is that pile of leaves rustling? It's moving, and I don't think that's the wind. Hmm. Might be something in there. Chestnut twig. Snail. Ooh, there's a forest friend. Hello. What a peculiar snail shell. It's like an elven cornucopia from the old tales. Come here, my slimy friend. What a peculiar... Oh, it's even moving about, even in the inventory. Well, there's one forest friend, but I still need the paper finches and the resin rats. The little fairy is nowhere to be seen. I'm wondering how classical these fairies are. Like, are we talking a small fairy that flies and has wings, or are we just talking about, like, a person, basically, that has magical abilities? All right, what makes a fairy fly into a cage on her own free will? Well, if he thinks the fairy can fit in that cage, then I suppose he thinks it does have wings and it's very small. Although it really doesn't sound small at all. Those wooden marbles grow all over my realm. Th thank you for watching what I was doing and com commentating for me. It's kind of creepy. She's, she's spying on me. She knew I wanted to examine this chestnut twig and spoke for me. Help yourself. I have plenty of those. New projectiles for my catapult. Well, that makes this expedition halfway worthwhile. <laughs> okay, so I have something for my catapult, but uh, the catapult still doesn't work, and also I have nothing to use it on. Hmm. All right, let's go check out this pile of leaves. Guess I'll have to dig in the foliage then. Ow! No fairy, just a hedgehog. <laughs> Why would you think the fairy would be there? You just talked to her. She's over there, you idiot. Jesus, Garon. The hedgehog scurried away. Hmm. Um, how can I get the hedgehog to come out? Here, have an acorn. No. Hmm. Yeah, one cool little feature, by the way, is that you don't have to actually click on an inventory item to use it. You can actually just use the scroll wheel to go through items. Like, even if you have nothing selected here, you can use the scroll wheel. And there you go. Just go through everything. It's pretty cool. Actually, something just lit up on this cage. What was that? The snail. 
There you go. I caught a snail in a birdcage. Oh yeah. No, I'm, I'm guessing I'm putting her forest friends into the cage so she can go spend time with them. Or s something. Anyways. No, go. please stay. I seldom have visitors. All right. Okay, apparently I can't leave. Is one forest friend enough? Hammer, cane, chestnuts. Eh. There's not really much I can do here. Let's go talk to her again. Maybe Hello? The, maybe the snail is enough. So I'm supposed to just uh, make up a friend? A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Well, so far, the only thing I've accomplished is a snail in a cage. What? Why, why did I just pick that up? Cage with bait. Oh, to get the hedgehog. Or por porcupine? What was it? Whatever it was. Very well. Perhaps Gwynling will settle for a hedgehog in case I can't catch the fairy. <laughs> I don't think so. Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. I know, hedgehogs are so rude, aren't they? Defending themselves from predators. Bastards. Alright. Well, I have a hedgehog in a cage. Does that count as a forest friend? Hello? Present the hedgehog. Here, see, I do have friends. Of course, my friends hate me and they poke me with spikes and I have to catch them in a cage to have them come along with me, but yeah, the hedgehog is totally my friend. Look at my hedgehog. He's my friend. But you had to imprison him so that he stays with you. That's no way to treat a friend. Ah, <sighs> I'll be back in a minute. She saw through my illusions. Oh, whoa. When did I get spikes? Long and pointy needles. Okay, am I going to be, like, constructing a person? Lure the fairy out of her hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. All right. This one goes here. That one there. This one over there. What am I making? Chestnut mannequin. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, some sort of a imaginary... <laughs> Some sort of imaginary forest friend. Look at that thing. That It's actually kind of cute. Sort of? It also kind of looks dumb. My very best forest friend. <laughs> That's because he's mute. <laughs> oh, Garon. I kind of like his sarcastic... It's like he's always fed up. Like, exasperated sarcasticness, if that's the right terms. Okay, here you go. Hello? Chestnut mannequin. That is... That's a weird way to spell mannequin. Is that an old, like a different... Just a, a different way of spelling mannequin? Or what? I've never seen it spelled that way. I'm gonna write it down. Search for that. See if that's a... Like an, maybe an old spelling of it or something. Well, now. A chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts, and, uh, and he's my friend. I'm deeply honored, your tiny majesty. Geron here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Finally. Okay, let's go see if I can catch her. Where is she? What a strange place. Dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda. And this is Miss Greenbald, Finkel and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghosts, and Plepperup. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you... In love? 
Now that's unfortunate. I thought you were a fairy. All this nonsense completely in vain. Of course I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy. We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no. The dolls. They... No, please. Please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. But you are a fairy? Yes. Why? Okay, I suspected she wasn't actually a f tiny flying fairy. So what... What is she then, exactly? I mean... It sounds like there's subtypes of fairies. Hmm. Well, let's just ask her to come. Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world? Which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. Oh, that's marvelous. But... No, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. Fairy gate? What the heck is the fairy gate? Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Hmm, is she tasked with protecting it? Did you come from the fairy land? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why? Is, has something happened to our homeworld? Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's just the way it is. Well, all right. To each their own secrets. Okay, okay. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my world. Without its water, my soul dries up, like a plant. Can we can we just take the water with us? Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm, let me think about it. I'll be back in a minute. That is the fairy gate. It's beautiful. This whole place is beautiful. And those little, like, root doll things were actually really adorable. She cut their roots and dressed them in clothes made of leaves. What in the name of the unknown does the seer want with this fairy? Go on, say hello to them. What? Go on. Uh, hello, Hinkle and Finkle and whatever your names are. Yeah, their names were a bit complex. <laughs> I would never remember them. And what the heck was her name? I know Nuri is the, like, simple version, but... What was her full name? I don't even remember even the first part of it. I mean, I guess the first part's probably Nuri, but... You know what I mean. Leather ribbons. God, the art in this game really is so beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Can I borrow one of these ribbons? Not those. I wanted to use them to... No. I can't remember what I wanted with them. I'll give them to you as a present. Hmm. She seems really out of it. Because I guess she has to stay here and she's just... Well... Completely alone. Making up things to play with and... Dressing up. <laughs> dressing up, uh... Roots and whatnot. Whatever the heck those are. Brittle spot. The stone is all wet. Maybe I can get to the water if I deepen this cut a bit. Well, you could always just, like, walk up to the top of it as well. You don't have to break it open. Whoever sealed this fairy gate certainly wasn't weak. They're probably for a new set of wind chimes. Well, I guess she has to occupy herself with something to kill time. So, I could probably use this leather ribbon on the catapult, although I don't know why I would want to. What am I going to do with a miniature catapult? 
Is that a magic well? It doesn't even look like a gate. Why? What do you think it's supposed to look like? <laughs> You're strange. I keep hearing that. <laughs> I am strange, but so are you. Human-sized fairy woman who can't leave the confines of her fairy gate and has radishes for friends or whatever these are. I'm not going to climb up there. All kinds of things could happen if I touch this gate. So, we're both rather strange. So, I mean, like, does anyone else know she's here? It doesn't seem like I went all that far to get here. Like, she's just, what, a couple miles outside of the town? Does she ever have visitors? Have you seen my waterfall yet? It keeps flowing downwards, even at night. What? Do you mean the fairy gate? I'll be back in a minute. That's the only waterfall I see. And yeah, waterfalls tend to flow downwards. That's kind of what they do. My very best, that's be... All right, let me, um, let's see if I can leave. No, please stay. No, I can't, okay. So if I wanted to take the magic with us, what would I do? Can I mess with this cage at all? Get out of there. There you go. Oh, whoa, is that... Oh, the snail shell! Because the... No, it just ate the snail. Oh, poor snail. It's like an elven cornucopia from the old tales. Well, I know what I can fill with water. If I could get to it, can't I get to it from the top? The snail shell would make a good vessel. If the water in this well is magical, Nuri can carry it in the shell, but I can't reach it without touching the magic gate. Do I have... Oh, like, if you touch the magic gate, do you go back to it? But I thought it's sealed. I don't know. I think she'd better not know of the snail yet. Okay, gotta keep it a secret. <laughs> Why? No time for such things. The stone is all wet. Maybe I can get to the water if I deepen this cut a bit. Uh, I feel like breaking that open would just cause all the water to flow out, but apparently I need to hit it, so here we go. Oh, water. Did I not just ruin it, or, or is this like an infinite source of water? I don't really know, but anyway, it worked. And that's all that matters. Very well, but how do I seal the snail shell now? Hmm. Do I have anything that could work? Let's see where this leads me. Oh. That's nice. It's got a little thing you could wrap around your neck or whatever. Very well. But how do I... Seal it. Um... Um... I don't know. I have to seal it somehow, otherwise she'll spill everything. Whatever I need to seal it, I don't think I have. I'm not going to dis- The leaves. Can I seal it with the leaf? The hedgehog scurried away. The hedgehogs. The hedgehogs. Nope. And I can't leave, right? No. Nope. Uh. So there's got to be something in here. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Best opening to any car any conversation ever. Uh. I'll be back in a minute. Go on, say hello to them. What? Go on. Uh, hello, hello. 
She cut their roots and dressed them in clothes made of leaves. What in the name of the unknown does the... Can I take another ribbon? Oh, I can? Not likely. How many can I take? One is enough. Okay, just one. What do I have that could possibly seal this thing? This is all of the items that I have. They're probably for a new set of wind chimes. Well, I guess she has to occupy herself with something to kill time. Like, what am I missing? I mean, there's so few items in the inventory and I can't leave. So, what am I missing? There's a magic glow from deep within. I mustn't touch the fairy water. I would totally drink fairy water. Hell yeah, I don't know what it would do, but I would drink it. It sounds wonderful. Wait, how big is this shell? Can I stuff this acorn in it? Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. Now finally, I'll attach the leather ribbon so that the fairy won't spill anything. Oh. I didn't think the acorn was that big or the shell was that small. The shell seemed a lot bigger than the acorn, but... Okay. I can see that working. Doesn't work. Alright, we're done. Gwindling. No, no, not, not that. There we go. Look what I've made for you. You've tied Yerk of the snail to a leather ribbon. No, look. The snail shell is filled with water from the fairy gate. Now you can come with me. Really? Just try it. Alrighty, let's go. 